Now, my helpmate is going to show you the main steps of tiling the bathroom. Of course, all surfaces, walls and floor are already prepared. They are clean, dry and primed. Bathrooms are exposed to moisture penetration. We always start our work with application of the waterproofing system. After that, we can show tiles installation. Apart from the wall and floor tiling, we will also show how to install mosaic tiles. Finally, we will present grouting and sealing techniques. So, let's see tiling installation step by step. Of course, Seracid has the right high-quality products you need for each step of the bathroom installation. Preparation Make sure that all substrates are free from dirt and dust. To strengthen the surface and reduce the absorbency of the substrate, prime it with a deeply penetrating primer. Start with the walls. For gypsum board walls, use Seracid CT17 Profi primer for highly absorbent substrates. Now move to the floor. For cement substrates, the best choice is CT17 or Seracid CN94. This primer should be applied and spread with a paintbrush or a roller, avoiding the formation of puddles. Waterproofing. All surfaces exposed to contact with water, such as walls and floors of showers and their surroundings, as well as bathtubs and wash basins areas, must be protected by the application of a waterproof sealing system under the tiles. The first waterproofing coat is to be applied no sooner than four hours after the priming. We recommend to use the one-component sealing film Seracid CL51, which is a flexible liquid membrane, together with the Seracid sealing tape and collar. Stir CL51 membrane well before use and then apply it undiluted on the walls, starting with critical areas. Use a steel trowel or a brush, being especially careful around pipe inlets. For the waterproofing of wall connections and pipes and floor drains, place the sealing collar into the first layer and embed it with the second sealing layer of CL51. Continue your waterproofing along the edges and corners of the walls and floor. Now it's time to waterproof the wall under the tiles, in the area of wash basin, the shower and the bathtub, using the liquid membrane CL51. The first layer should be applied with a brush, the second with the brush or a trowel. This way all substrate pores will be filled in and the adhesion of the insulating coating improved. To achieve an efficient waterproofing, two layers of CL51 should be applied. Let the surfaces dry for about one and a half hours and then apply the second layer of CL51. Also, the floor must be sealed with CL51. Four hours after the application of the second layer, the surface is ready for tiling. Make sure to mark the areas which will be taken by a bathtub or a basin. You will leave them free from tiling. Wall tiling. Now it's time to fix the tiles, and it's best to start with the walls. For this, prepare CM12 elastic adhesive mortar.
while working with an adhesive, pay special attention to a few things. Add the right amount of water. Use the notched spreader with the right toothing. The choice of toothing should depend on the tile size. And make sure to follow the package guidelines concerning the adhesive correction and drying time. Place the tiles pressing them into the mortar. The mortar coverage, in other words, the contact area at the back of the tile, must be at least 65%. Keep an equal distance between tiles and make sure they are level. Remember to leave out the last row of tiles on the walls. This should be done after the tiles on the floor are applied, so the wall tiles can be fitted in perfectly. For fixing bright or translucent natural stone mosaic tiles, use a white fast-binding tile adhesive to avoid bleeding and discoloration. Floor tiling with a heated floor system. For installation of a heated floor system, you need a highly flexible adhesive, which can balance the thermal stresses between tiles and the substrate. We recommend to use Ceracid CM17 Super Flexible or CM16 adhesive mortar. Apply the first layer of the mortar, then place the heating mat and cover it with the second layer of the adhesive mortar. After the mortar has dried, start tiling the bathroom floor. Apply the mortar on the floor using a suitable notched trowel. Place the tiles by pressing them into the mortar. Continue to complete the entire floor. When the adhesive has dried and the tiled floor is ready to step on, apply the missing tiles on the bottom row of the wall. As the final tiling step, finish the bathtub. Grouting. When the tile adhesive is sufficiently set, you may start grouting. The flexible grout Ceracid CE40 Aquastatic is dedicated especially for bathrooms, kitchens and other places in contact with moisture. When preparing the grout, remember to use the correct mixing ratio with water as defined on the packaging. Also, make sure to observe a 3-minute maturing time during mixing. Completely fill the joint. After the grout has started to set, which can be tested with a finger, clean the area by wiping it in circular movements with a wet sponge and little water. The second cleaning is best done with diagonal movements and clean water. Installation 
To mount a mirror on the wall, use Ceresit construction adhesives. Apply the adhesive along the surface creating vertical lines. This way water does not collect behind the mirror. Place the mirror and seal the joints with the sanitary silicone. To smoothen the joint, moisture it with a water and soap mixture and remove the excessive silicone with a plastic spatula. Continue to seal all joints at the corners of the walls and floor and around bathtubs and wash basins with the Ceresit sanitary silicone. In some places, like tiled room corners, an additional filling may be required. In that case, use CS40 expansion joint string. Put the string into the expansion joint before performing the final silicone sealing. For additional protection and impregnation of the joints, you may use the transparent impregnation agent CT10. Cover both the joints and the tiles. Enjoy the finished bathroom. With Ceresit, you can be proud of the result of your work. It is worth doing the job as if I was doing it for myself. Prime the surface. Apply the waterproofing. Fix the tiles on the wall. Fix the tiles on the floor. Grout the joints. Seal with silicone. Impregnate. Installation of a mirror 